Hey there folks, John here with Watch Talk Forums and today I am coming to you with a watch winder review and we are going to be looking at the Wolf Designs 4.1 watch winder system. Uh, now this system is what I would consider to be a budget winder. Uh, very nice uh, value price point uh, that uh, a lot of watch winders are really going to appreciate. Uh, excuse me, watch fans are going to appreciate for who are looking for a watch winder that's not going to break the bank and leave them more money to buy actual watches. Uh, what I have here today is uh, I'm going to show you a few different winders from the Wolf Systems uh, and let me mention that this uh, review is coming to you courtesy of Watch Talk Forum sponsor Topper Jewelers. Uh, Topper has provided all the winders that you're going to see in this review uh, and is an authorized wolf vendor. Uh, so let's let's jump into the review here. We've actually got two different versions here of the wolf winder. Uh, the first is the wolf 4.0 winder, the predecessor to the 4.1 on the right. And the 4.0 winder uh, uh, has been improved uh, they've upgraded some features in the 4.1 winder uh, and some things have stayed the same uh, they are important so, so let me th run through in terms of what's the same um, basically the form factor has not changed on these winders uh, you can see the exterior uh, is, a, is the same size and dimensions uh, the front casing portion uh, that uh, closes the winder and gives you the observation window is the same. It will fit. Uh, it's just a lid that uh, uh, fits on the front there. And the same lid will fit uh, both the 4.0 and the 4.1. Also, uh, this system of winders has a really neat uh, uh, interlocking capability uh, that provides modularity. I kind of call it like a Lego system. Uh, here's one of the little blocks which can be inserted uh, either on the top or on the side in slots. Uh, so I can show you on the top there are slots, on the sides there are slots, on the bottom there are slots. And uh, you can insert the slot to either stack two of these winders, uh, one on top of the other, uh, or uh, mount them uh, horizontally, either any way you want, horizontally or vertical, vertically. And the idea here is that as your watch collection grows, you can add more winders and kind of Lego them together. Uh, and they've got a real nifty uh, uh, kind of daisy chain capability. Here's one of the, the uh, what I call a Y cable for power that allows you to uh, add winders and run them essentially off the same wall plug. So every time you just add a, add a winder, you add the Y cable and you can run up to 12 winders on this system uh, basically using the same uh, wall plug. So that, that's pretty slick. Uh, really like that. Uh, in terms of what's different here, uh, some real important things. You'll notice the uh, the controls are very different between these two, and that's a good thing because these controls are not all at all intuitive. Uh, you've got on the 4.0 system, you've got these buttons labeled one through four, but uh, you know if you're like me, you don't do a whole lot of adjusting to your winder once you set it. It's kind of fire and forget. So if you go back. Uh, a month or two later, you're probably not going to know, okay, is this the button to change the turns per day, or is this the button uh, to change the uh, uh, direction of rotation? You're not going to remember that. Well, over here in the 4.1 system, and it's where it's upgraded, you can see that now there's some labels here. This knob controls the turns per day. You've got an actual on and off switch, and that's a great thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on. You can also see the LED is nice and bright. You can tell how many turns per day it's set to. You can tell right now that it's in the bidir bidirectional mode. And uh, uh, the winder is coming on, as you can see. And it's very quiet. I was very impressed. 
I'm going to guess that uh, even without the lid here, you're probably not going to be picking up any noise with that winder spinning, uh, and that's a good thing. Um, but and uh, you know, in terms, of, so obviously there's some real positive changes in the control scheme here. Uh, functionally, you've got a lot more control with this system. Uh, with with this system, I believe. Let me see. What are we looking at here? Okay, here's the changes for the turns per day. You've only got four settings, three, six, nine hundred turns per day, and then the continuous mode. Uh, so really only four programmable settings for the 4.0 system. When you come over here, I'm just going to turn it off and turn it on again. Uh, you can go up or down with the with the minus and plus sign here in turns per day in, in 50 turn increments. So a lot more flexibility. Uh, and you can go up or down. You can go down as far as 300 turns per day. And you can crank that guy up if you need to, all the way up to, I believe, yep, 1,200 turns per day, all within 50, 50 turn per day increments. So that's pretty slick. I like that. I'll go ahead and try to return it to 600 turns per day. Okay. So very easy to use, very well laid out. A uh, very quiet winder. Uh, I like that a lot. Again, turns per day here. You can tr you can change it from uh, uh, you know you can go clockwise, counterclockwise here, or bidirectional mode. You know again depending on the requirements of your watch. Just check with the the manufacturer of your watch to uh, if you're uncertain as to how many turns per day it requires to stay wound, uh, as well as whether it is uh, uh, bidirectional. Uh, or uh, the rotor swings clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, so uh, lots of improvements there. Uh, also one other improvement here that I want to highlight. Uh, a lot of folks on the 4.0 system complained that the the cuff that the actual watch stayed on was uh, was too short, uh, which which caused some problems. Um, They've actually increased the size of the cuff. Let's see if I can pull this out here considerably. So there you go. So there's just uh, some quick improvements uh, to show you the differences between the 4.0 system and the 4.1 system. Uh, again, if uh, uh, if you do have a 4.0 system and you want to continue using it and add models from the 4.1 system, that's okay. They're completely compatible, both from the interlocking modular uh, system uh, and from the power supply system. So uh, uh, no worries there. Okay, uh, switch things up a little bit here. Uh, just wanted to point out a couple of things here. On the left, we've got one of the Wolf 4.1 modules uh, that is marked topper. Uh, the other one is a, is a standard Wolf 4.1. And these two systems are identical, uh, as was the case with the 4.0 system. Uh, topper has what's called in the industry a private label arrangement with uh, Wolf's uh, designs. And they're able to have uh, winders manufactured with the topper uh, jeweler's logo on it, as you can see here down below the LED. Um, uh, in, ter in terms of other differences, just a minor cosmetic one, it appears as though the topper model has more of a gunmetal finish on the controls and on the faceplate here, whereas uh, uh, the uh, non-private label standard Wolf uh, module uh, that, that has uh, no logo here on the faceplate, but does have the Wolf logo here on the cushion. Uh, uh, it's more of a uh, just a standard brushed uh, aluminum look, uh, brushed metal look. Uh, so it's a little brighter and uh, shinier versus the the more uh, uh, flatter uh, gunmetal uh, look to the topper version. But functionally, they're the same. I've actually got the interlocking uh, device. Uh, in place, so they're they're locked together. They're obviously uh, compatible with one another, and uh, uh, they function identically. 
the controls are identical. Uh, everything is the same about them. Uh, the only difference is the private label. Of course, the w another important difference here is the price. Okay, um, uh, Topper, you know, I guess maybe because of their their uh, uh, they consider it part of their advertising budget, they actually price the Topper version of the Wolf 4.1 almost a third less than uh, uh, than the standard uh, Wolf 4.1 winder uh, on their website. Uh, I believe this uh, this model is about two hundred sixty nine dollars versus uh, one ninety nine here on uh, the topper version of the four point oh winder. Now uh, either is an excellent value. Uh, anything uh, around the two hundred dollar price point for a single head winder is an excellent value. Uh, you know the Wolf name is very well known, uh, uh, generally well regarded. Uh, these uh, these winders are stamped made in China, uh, so uh, they're not uh, an American-made product. But uh, as you know, as we all know, uh, a lot of electronics are made in China. Heck, uh, my iPhone and, and my iPad uh, are Chinese-made. Uh, so that's that's no longer necessarily an indication of low quality uh, when you see the made in China stamp. And, and again, these uh, these winder motors, which is really key. Uh, seem to be uh, uh, reasonably well made. They're they're very quiet and, uh, from a functional standpoint, very impressive. So I wouldn't necessarily be put off uh, by the made in China uh, stamp. Um, you know, in terms of what makes them you know inexpensive compared to other models from Wolf or maybe one of Wolf competitors, well, the exterior case here uh, is made of uh, polymer plastic. Uh, uh, there is no wood. These aren't what I would consider to be a real decorative uh, winder that has an ornate wood case. Uh, uh, the uh, the plastic brings the price point down and uh, does you know provide the functionality for the interlocking system. Uh, let me just reach over here and grab one of these one of these units here. Again, another this is plastic, but this is the unit that goes either on the top or in between the winders or on bottom, which allows you to lock uh, uh, two winders in place. Uh, and then again, you can just kind of Lego these and, and uh, go any way you want with them. So uh, really, uh, from a functional standpoint, really uh, neat functionality there. Um, Really impressed with the with the Wolf 4.1 system and the advances that they have. Uh, do have one other interesting thing to show you that uh, uh, Topper Jeweler does does make available for their winders. Okay, we're looking at uh, an interesting product that Topper uh, Jeweler sells as an accessory item to the winders that they sell, uh, and it is an external lithium battery pack. Now, this could have a variety of uses. Uh, let's say, for example, you want to set these winders up uh, in an area of your home where you don't have a, an available uh, wall outlet. Uh, let's say uh, you're going out of town and you want to put these, uh, you want to kind of hide away your winders uh, in a closet or maybe even in a safe or a safe deposit box, uh, one or more of the winders from your collection. Uh, you could use this external battery pack to power them, and it is has really impressive uh, uh, lifespan. It will power one watch winder set to about 600 turns per day for approximately 333 days, and it does have the capability to power. Uh, if you had all 12 winders hooked up to one power source, it can provide power to uh, all 12 of those those uh, winders. Now, obviously. The more winders you have hooked up, the uh, uh, the less uh, the lifespan of the external battery pack is going to be. And uh, you know, there's some very clear uh, estimates on the website as you know, in terms of if you have X number of winders, how many days of, of battery life will you get out of this uh, external battery? But uh, very impressive, very useful if you travel. Uh, you know, for the average person who has maybe you know anywhere from uh, one to you know maybe six of these you know this if you're going to be out of town for 
you know, a, a few days or maybe a week or two, like, you know, most professional people might be. Uh, very, very useful accessory. $120 on their website. Uh, great device, and it appears to me like you could use it uh, for a lot of other stuff, a lot of other electronics in your house too, because uh, it's got a you know a variety of uh, uh, capabilities to plug into this thing. So really, really pretty neat uh, device, uh, and kudos uh, for Toppers for providing it because you really with this you've got you know pretty much any use you would want to have for these winders covered. Put them anywhere in your house, whether there's power or not. If you want to use them as a uh, as a safe winder, as opposed to a, you know a winder that you have sitting out in the house, you can do that. Really adds a lot of flexibility and functionality to the uh, uh, to the Wolf 4.1 system. Uh, so kudos uh, for Toppers for making that available. Uh, you know they they have a history of really understanding the needs of of uh, uh, watch enthusiasts and, and watch collectors and you know when you see them make something like this available uh, from their product line it, it really shows that they understand you know what watch uh, collectors and what watch enthusiasts need. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, plenty more coming uh, please uh, head over to the Watchwinder forum of Watch Talk forums uh, to check out the written photo review segment of this review. What you've been watching is the video portion, but there is a, a written review that goes along with this, and you'll find a link in the description box to that review. Uh, until the next video, take care, God bless, we'll see you next time.